What is up guys, it's Axe from the Good Time Gaming, and we're here today to talk about the recently released Jimmy Pack. This is part of a cross promotion for the movie Hardcore Henry, which is not something I knew anything about until this promotion, but now that I've kind of seen um, some of the previews and checked it out a little bit, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So, pretty interesting little promotion. But, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the character Jimmy, we're going to take a look at some of his voice lines, we're going to take a look at his akimbo submachine guns, you heard that right his melee weapon, and his new perk deck. So let's get started, guys. So as far as Jimmy goes, we get pretty minimal backstory about him from the game. Um, in his little character portrait, you can see where it says here, I had my doubts at first, I'll admit, but Jimmy has turned out to have all the skills to excel as a heister of crime net caliber. He has no limits, never turning down a contract, and lives every day like it's his last. He is loyal and has proven to be an excellent addition I never thought we needed. So yeah, as far as his game intro, it's basically like, oh hey, I found this crazy guy on CrimeNet and now he's going to come and heist with us. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, not a whole lot of lore on him at this point. Maybe we'll have a little bit more in the um, upcoming uh, mission packs when it's going to come out. There's also some mission packs coming in a couple weeks. So maybe we'll um, get a little bit more information at that point. But as of right now, not really a whole lot of background about why he's here and what his motivation is. His motivation basically just seems to want to fuck shit up, which I'm good with that, but you know, it's nice to have a little story too, you know? So let's talk appearance and personality. Uh, Jimmy is basically insane. You can pretty well tell that just by looking at him. Um, he has this like really epic man mane going on, that's what I kind of call it, is man mane. Um, his hair is totally jacked up, he probably should shave. Um, he has jizz stains all over his um, jacket. Now I know, okay, some of y'all are thinking though, no, it's cocaine. So, okay, you know what, if you want to call it cocaine, you call it cocaine, but I think it's more hilarious and fun to think that it's a bunch of jizz stains, because that just raises all kinds of questions. So, jizz stains or cocaine stains, whatever you want to throw out there, he's got them all over his jacket, all over his pants, a little bit on his booty, I'll tell you what's going on back there. He basically looks like a mess. He's got blood stains all over the front of his um, shirt. He is a gigantic walking mess. So, he's basically insane. He, um, once you start playing with him a little bit, he basically, like, he yells at everything, he screams. It's kind of interesting, like, during, um, like, the pre-assault phase, like, when cops are kind of, like, building up, he's a lot calmer. Like, if you compare his voice audio before the cops show up to, like, once they actually do, it's totally different. Like, he's calmer beforehand, and then once they show up, he's, like, screaming, popping off, going crazy afterwards. Definitely a very interesting and, uh... Silly man. Let's check out some of his voice lines, shall we? Okay, let's sit on this once and for all, lads. Batman or Superman? Uh, just testing control. You know, checking you were there. You answered really quickly. Well done. Congrats. That was very good response. Very good. Sorry, control. I must have pressed the wrong button by accident. Uh, sorry about that. Hear a funny story. It's a dirty one, but it'll pass the time. No problem here. How about you guys? Any action? All, all's calm on my side. Yeah, nothing at all. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. We're fine, control. Uh, just wanted to talk to someone really. Um, having some issues, you know, with a wife. No, sorry lads, just a false alarm. Just Leroy fucking around. Leroy, quit fucking around, man. Let me just, let me just get back here, man. Chino! After Fuck me, stop. mate! Hey, Wolfie! Follow me! Chino, don't take hey, me look at me, you beast! After oh, me, boy. mate! Don't fucking move! I didn't say move! 
Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Don't fucking move. What part of don't move don't you understand, man? I didn't say move. Any of you fuckers gets a phone call, he's the first to go. Make love to the fucking ground, man. So yeah, Jimmy is a pretty interesting loudmouth character. Um, if you want to see some more lines, some more um, of his audio, then check out my Answer the Pager video, which is also on the channel. So let us now move into his melee weapon. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way, shall we? So like every other pack that's ever released ever, he comes with his own little silly boring, um, pretty much carbon copy of everything else melee weapon. It's called a Specialist Knives. Um, you see in the weapon preview here, it only shows one knife, but actually whenever you use them, you get two. Not that it matters, because it doesn't make any difference. Um, they go stabby-stab, and they're not that great. Alright, moving on. Alright, we now move into the Heather Submachine Gun. So this one's kind of interesting. Um, there is a secondary version of this as well as a primary version. So we're going to start with the secondary version first, okay? The secondary version of the Heather Submachine Gun is a pretty good, pretty all-around decent um, submachine gun. You're looking at a magazine capacity at base of 32, 40 damage, 52 accuracy, 44 stability, 25 concealment. So it's fairly concealable too, which is also kind of nice. Uh, let's get in here and take a look at some of the mods that can attach on this bad boy. You can do your standard range of suppressors with this one. You can stat boost it if you have those. You can set a custom firing just like anything else. Gadget, sight, and it also gets its own stock. Um, this is a, just a stock that only works with the Heather submachine gun. I only got one right now, and right now it's on my Akimbo one. But you can see that the stock actually um, gives you 8 stability and doesn't do anything to the concealment. So it's pretty nice. So you can keep this as a nice little um, concealable secondary if you like. It doesn't have anything to increase the um, magazine capacity, oddly enough, so that's not an option there. But as far as damage goes, you know, it can work for a pretty decent amount of damage. Alright, so here's one that I put together. 45.1 um, damage, 56 accuracy, has a stat boost um, for accuracy, by the way, and then 92 stability. Not bad at all, um, fairly comparable to most of the other SMGs. I probably wouldn't use this one over something like, say, the Krinkov, because the Krinkov is just much better, especially in terms of damage. But it can hold its own, you know, it's definitely a fairly reasonable and decent SMG. It looks pretty sweet modded up, as you can see. Um, can't really go wrong with it. Pretty good one. And it's free, so I mean, if you're looking for a good new SMG and you don't have any DLC, this might be the one for you. Alright, we now move into the Akimbo version of the Heather Submachine Guns. So in order to use this, you must either have the Akimbo perk in Fugitive, or you must be using the Hitman perk deck and have the akimbo section of that unlocked. So let's take a look at this bad boy. You get 64 bullets in your magazine, 32 in each. Um, you have 40 damage, 52 accuracy, and 44 stability. Also 25 concealment, so these are actually fairly high up there again with the concealment. In terms of mods, everything is the exact same as the secondary version, except that you cannot put a sight on the akimbo heather submachine gun. So everything else is the same, except you can't put a sight on it. Alright, so here they are with some mods thrown on them. Um, I went and just basically modded these up just for the most um, high stats I could put on them. I have 45.1 damage, 56 accuracy, 72 stability, and 21 concealment. Um, basically the same as the secondary version, except with this one you get two guns. So, they're pretty sweet. Um, we're going to go in game now, we're going to kind of check out some of the damage that these bad boys can do. These things fire really quickly. I wouldn't recommend putting points into the um, perk that will increase your rate of fire in Ghost. Um, you probably want to go ahead and put a point in just to get the increased um, reload speed for your submachine gun because it will affect these so you can reload your gun a little bit quicker. So that's definitely something to get. But rate of fire, these things are fast as fuck. You don't really need anything else on there. Your best bet with these is just either tapping them very lightly or maybe try using the single fire mod instead of the auto fire and just use them that way. You don't want to go full auto with these things because you're going to burn through ammo really really quick and you're probably not going to hit a lot of stuff either. Um, when you full auto with these things the gun kind of tends to tilt upwards a little bit so it'll be a little bit hard to kind of center it and keep it where you need it to go. These things don't really do that great over distance. Um, I'd probably keep it short to medium engagements. But you can do them over distance if you're just very careful with how you fire. Very light tap, tap, tap. 
Again, not auto fire. As fun as it might be to go completely guns blazing full auto, you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of these if you do that, and you're not going to have any ammo either, because you're going to be burning through all of it. Overall though, these are very cool guns. They're very nice, they're very fun to use. Damage is pretty good. Rate of fire is good, accuracy is kind of eh, they're fairly stable. You can use them in a concealment build if you play your cards right. Yeah, overall they're not bad. Um, it was just a matter of time until we got some more akimbo weapons. So, akimbo submachine guns, I guess that's just the newest thing. Overall assessment though is pretty cool guns, fun to use, just watch the rate of fire and keep an eye on your ammo. Alright, so we now move into the perk deck itself. The perk deck is called Maniac, and there's a lot of text and shit to read about here. Um, I'm going to basically break it down real simple for you guys so it's easy to understand because I think it's a little confusing the way that they kind of uh, word this and kind of talk about it. Um, basically, every time you kill someone you gain a stack of something called Hysteria. So for every uh, certain number of Hysteria stacks you get, you get a point of damage reduction. Um, these stacks will decay after about 8 seconds, so if you don't kill anybody for about 8 seconds they start to slowly decay away. So basically you need to keep on killing people. Um, for every 25 points of Hysteria, you get a point of damage mitigation, or damage absorption. This also affects your teammates. Now, the damage absorption on Hysteria, once you fully max it out and you get the final part, Insanity increases by 50%. So, basically, this is a simple, easy to understand version. Kill people, get Hysteria, reduce damage to yourself and to your teammates. It goes away after 8 seconds if you don't kill anybody. Easy to understand, pretty simple pretty cut and dry. Let's get in game and see how powerful this thing really is. So just for a little background here, um, I'm running a Tech Forcer build in this video with um, Berserker. So I found this is really kind of the best use of this build. Um, you need armor to get the most out of Maniac and a Tech Forcer build or at least one that uses the ICTV um, really gives you a lot of survivability. It's pretty insane. Um, obviously you know I do have a pretty high amount of armor anyways. But, you know, if you spend any time on Watch Dogs or just playing this game generally, you know that you, even with a lot of armor, it gets shot to hell pretty, pretty easily sometimes. Um, you can kind of see here, I'm basically just walking around openly in the street, just shooting everybody. Uh, if you watch my armor, it just very, very slowly degrades. Even though I'm being hit directly by the turret in several of these um, sections, it doesn't really even matter because the damage is just, like, not doing anything to me. I can basically freely walk around and do whatever I want, and they cannot really stop me. Obviously, once my armor breaks, that's whenever things get a little get a little more uh, interesting. I gotta take some cover at that point. But yeah, the um, the mitigation is insane. Um, fully maxed out. The damage, I mean, it's just kind of a joke. Also, remember that um, if you're using this, your team members will receive a portion of mitigation as well. So this is a very good build um, for like higher difficulties. Um, it's a good team build if you're trying to coordinate something with your team and you want to help them out. This is definitely a good one to take because it's gonna help everybody out. I guess the biggest downside to this is that you really have to keep on killing people um, pretty constantly. And I know that may seem kind of like a weird criticism, but you know, if you're playing with a group of your friends or the competent uh, group, sometimes it can be kind of hard to get kills. And you definitely need to keep getting kills to keep your stacks building, to keep your stacks up. So if you're not getting those kills, it's just going to fall off and you're not really going to be helping yourself or anyone else. So just kind of bear that in mind. Remember, if you are playing with this perk deck, don't be a maniac. I mean, that's why I know it's called, it's maniac. But, you know, have a little bit of sense whenever you're killing people and you're running around. Don't become a liability to your team because you're trying to be a lone wolf out there nailing everybody, shooting everything left and right. But yeah, overall my assessment of Maniac um, perk deck is it's very good. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with it as um, spec'd out for a tech forcer with um, Berserker. So I have really high armor, I have Berserker Ace, so I do shitloads of damage from under 25%. And of course, you know, my health doesn't really get broken or anything like that because I have all this extra damage absorption. So overall, very cool perk deck. Definitely awesome. Probably the best free perk deck we've ever gotten, I would say. So check it out for sure. With that, guys, we come to the end of my review of the Jimmy character pack. Uh, this one is free, so if you're bitching about something free, then go fuck yourself. No, not really. Um, I understand some people like they hate cross-promotional stuff, but um, as far as the character goes, he's cool. He's crazy. Um, his perk deck is really good. The Kimbo SMGs are fun, even if they're a little bit silly. But he's a cool, he's a cool dude. You know, give Jimmy a chance. I like him. A little bit loud, but you know, he's a cool guy. So overall, I like it a lot. 
Hope you guys do too. Let me know what you guys think of Maniac. Let me know what you guys think of Akimbo SMGs. Let me know what you think the next Akimbo weapon might be. Maybe Akimbo shotguns? That'd be kind of silly. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always have a good time gaming.